Hello everyone, my name is Eve Charbonneau and today I will present you my research entitled Optimal Control to Innovate in Aerial Twisting on Trampoline. Aerial twists are created by tilting the body in order to transfer angular momentum from the somersault axis to the twisting axis. It is difficult for coaches to create new acrobatics without putting their athletes at risk. There is where optimal control comes to the rescue. It is a safe method to generate innovative and performant techniques. However, aerial twists have mainly been optimized using arm movements in the frontal plane. The objective of this study is to assess the gain in terms of twist of the addition of one degree of freedom at each shoulder and at the hips. To do so, four models were used for comparison. Models with one degree of freedom per joint were referred here as 2D model as opposed to 3D model, which have two degrees of freedom at each joint. All models here are in free fall and all degrees of freedom were actuated with piecewise constant torques. The objective of the optimization was to maximize the number of twist rotation while minimizing the joint torques. The only constraints of the optimal control problem were to keep the joint angle in a physiological range and to complete the movement in line with the sport requirements. The optimal kinematics for all of the model used similar strategies being asymmetrical movement early in the scale to tilt the body as quickly as possible, then staying still in a position with minimal inertia. 3D models outperform 2D models by more than one twist. This result can be explained by the 3D model's wider variety of movement, tilting and untilting the body. On the same train of thought, the addition of the hips mobility to the 3D model resulted in an increase in twist rotation due to the greater possibilities of tilt creation. In conclusion, this research shows that athletes could gain in performance by adding 3D components of their shoulder and hip motions. 